Hey, if you just received a copyright claim on YouTube, then you've come to the right place. Because as a marketing agency, we have to deal with this all the time. And trust me, it's not really a big deal. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you deal with a copyright claim. Now, most of the copyright claims that we deal with are because of audio. So, you know, let's say you decide to use some music and either you didn't have the license for it or either it was an artist that you weren't supposed to use then that usually creates some issues. But oftentimes, even when you do everything right, you still get these copyright claims from time to time. And I'm gonna show you how you can deal with it. All right, so here we are in the YouTube studio. As you can see, this is a channel, it's a client of ours with about 40,000 subscribers. And even though we published a video a year ago, for some reason, we're getting a copyright claim right now. So we're gonna check the claim. First of all, what is the claim? And as you can see over here, uh, it says that it's an audio claim, meaning the video cannot be monetized. Now the video will still stay up, there's no issue keeping the video on YouTube. But as you can see, there's a certain timestamp that they've given us that tells us that the audio or the music in this section is claimed by some third party. This basically means that all the revenue will go to the artist who owns the song. So there's a few options that we have. The first option is we can trim out the entire segment, meaning the timestamp where the audio exists, we can remove the entire section, including the video. But we're not gonna do that because it's gonna ruin the video. The second option we have is we can replace the audio by using one of the free, copyright free tracks that YouTube provides us within the YouTube music library. This is also a good option, but the problem with this option is that the original audio that you have gets replaced completely. This means that anything that you see in the video will also get covered with the new music that you put in. So we're not gonna go with this option. The next option is you can mute the song, but then that would also mute the video, which again would ruin the video. So what do we do in this case? I think all these three options can work if you have a video that doesn't have any audio in it, if you're just showing something, then you can simply replace the music. But in this case, since all of these three options will ruin the video and we actually have the license to this song, because as a marketing agency, we only use license audio, video, and images for our clients. So there's no legal trouble in the future. So in this case, we have the license. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on dispute claim. Once you click on dispute claim, they wanna make sure that your claim is legit. So none of these three options that you see on the screen right now are actually legit. You know, let's say you bought a CD or you own the song that does not give you the right to use the song in your videos. The second option is even if you are not making money from your videos, that still doesn't give you the right to use the song. And if you do use the song, the money will actually go to the artist. And the third option is even if you give proper credit, if you don't have the license to use the song, they may still not like it. But in this case, I'm going to check off my dispute isn't based on any of the reasons above. And I would still like to dispute the content ID claim. Now, there's a few options that you can see over here. Uh, either it's your original content, meaning you are the artist that produced the music in the first place. But we're going to go with the second option because we have a license. In certain situations, if you're using music or footage as a commentary or something that falls under fair use, then that is also allowed. So if your video falls under fair use, then you can also click this option. So if you want to learn more, just Google fair use and see what's included, what's not included in fair use. And the last option we have is if this video is in the public domain, meaning the piece of content is no longer protected by copyright. So I'm going to check off license because we have licensed content. Now make sure to read everything and check off the box if it makes sense to you. And so I'm going to check off I have permission to use the content. Then they're going to ask you for the license. So where do you find this? Now there's many different websites that we use for our stock footage and stock audio. Uh, the website that we're using in this case is called Envato Elements, which is I highly recommend this and if you want to check it out I'll leave a link down in the description below. We also use websites such as Storyblocks or Audioblocks from time to time That is also another good website for finding stock footage, stock videos and stock audio that is copyright free so because we license this from Envato Elements, I'm going to go to the website and I'm going to show you the download the name of the file, the name of the music is called fitness because we were using it for a fitness video. And as you can see, you, you just need to go into your downloads and see all the content that you've downloaded or used with your clients. Once you get into your downloads, 
they will give you an option to download the license. So it's very straightforward. You just find the right piece of content and download the license. Once you download the license, it's going to be a text file that you open and you simply copy and paste the entire text file, all the text in it, into the section inside of the YouTube Studio. So you go back to your YouTube Studio and then you copy and paste the entire license. Once you do that, you're pretty much good to go. So make sure you've copied everything, check off the boxes. My video does not infringe on anyone's copyright. I understand the claimant will be able to review my video and my dispute rationale. And I understand that filing fraudulent disputes may result in a termination of my YouTube account. Like just three, these three boxes and just be careful not to file claims if you're not certain about it. It's okay in some cases if you want to lose out on ad revenue, but don't get your channel deleted. Once all of this makes sense to you, just type in your first and last name or your channel name and then you simply click on submit. And that's it guys, that's how you deal with a copyright claim. If you like this video and if you wanna watch more videos on marketing and entrepreneurship tips from somebody who actually is a business owner, not just a guru, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.